Look, up in the sky, it's the superhero of travel. It's Ricky Tyers from It's Your Time to Travel on TalkTainmentRadio.com, radio the way it should be heard. Uh, the topic for today's show is your space in the sun, Antigua and Bermuda, with special calling guest Norell Joseph. Uh, Norell, do I have you on the line? And we just want to remind everybody to get out to vote. You know, there's still there's still time for early voting. And my guest from Antigua is Noel. Hello. So we have a couple of videos we we need to show. Uh, and one of the videos is just an intro video. It's only 30 seconds, and it talks about your space in the sun. And uh, I have my calling guest on, on, on the other line. Norell, can you hear me? Yep. So um, we'll, 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 we'll go ahead and move forward. He is on the other line. We're trying to get that worked out now. Yep. So, Noel, are, are, are you there? Okay, just just so you know, um, Antigua and Barbe Bay, Bar Bar Ar 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 Artigua and Bermuda is open and continue to welcome international travelers. And uh, we, we have a special guest. We're trying to get him on the line now. Uh, the tropical islands of Antigua and Bar Bermuda are located in the heart of the Caribbean, about a thousand miles to the east of Jamaica, and half that distance from Trinidad on the coast of South America. Uh, they are at 17 north latitude, um, about, uh, and 61 west uh, longitude. The island of Antigua was born out of the sea by a v volcano about 30 million years ago. A young island in world time. On the northern flank of this volcano, reefs were formed. Hence, the greater part of Antigua is a low-lying and is com composed of limestone rock. The highest point of an Antigua is 1,319 feet in the southwest and is called Boggy Peak. But the limestone high highlands of Bermuda rise to only 125 feet. So, Carl, are you there yet? Uh, the area of Antigua is about 128 square miles Why? Bermuda is 62 square miles. The population of the former is approaching 80,000, but the latter is uh, unpopulated at about 1,300. Days and nights are refreshingly cooled by the general trade winds. And I know in that, in, in, in that area, um, the weather is unbelievable. It's totally unbelievable. So, Carl, are you still there? Uh, Bar Bermuda became separated from Antigua by 28 miles when the sea levels of the world rose at about 10,000 BC. Today, parts of Bermuda are geologically flooded to form interesting lagoons. And here you may see uh, the largest breeding and nesting col and colony of the magnificent frigate bird in um, in the world. Bermuda supports a tremendous diversity of native uh, uh, habitats as yet unthreatened by development. Re Reef fridge Bermuda may be one of the best kept ecological secrets in the West Indies. 
her rugged scenery, beautiful beaches, one at least 12 miles long, lagoons, wildlife may be a resource as valuable as its fisheries. Escape 2020 and visit Antigua and Bermuda where we've got the sun, the sea, and plenty of much needed space. So are we still having problems? Antigua shoreline is washed almost exclusively by the Caribbean Sea and is hugged by 95 miles of suburb coastline. Her sister, Barbuda, is surrounded by protective reefs and features large lagoons and a frigate bird sanctuary. The islands are best known for their friendly and welcoming people. Pink and white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and the most satisfying and enjoy enjoyable climate in the world. So we're still trying to get our guests on the line, uh, but um, you know I, I've covered where Antigua is. Um, we had some videos to show. Uh, the videos on now. And that is uh, a video of, of, of Antigua. It, it should be visit Antigua and, 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 and Barbuda. The beach is just the beginning. Uh, that would take you through most of it. But uh, it, it is a destination that Okay, um, we're going to try and get the guests on the line now. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to try and get him on the line now. We, it looks, it looks like we were having some problems, problems with our uh, phone system. Narelle, this is Ricky from It's Your Time to Travel. Sorry, we had uh, some phone problems there. Yes, I, I, was, I just heard the video playing and then it just went dark on me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, um, you're on the air now. I, I called you on my cell phone, but you're on the air now. Okay, great. Okay. Um, so, I have some questions for you, and you can probably explain, explain them better than me. Uh, where is Antigua located at? All right, well, uh, thanks for this, uh, yeah, the, the time to have this interview with you and to share updates on the destination to your audience, Ricky. Uh, and of course, a pleasant, uh, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Uh, uh, in terms of where we are, uh, in relation to the rest of the Caribbean, uh, we're in the Leeward Islands. So that's just about a three and a half hour flight from JFK, New York, or two and a half hour flight from Miami uh, into Antigua. And of course, Antigua is the main island, and, and that's where most of the resorts and the tours and the excursions are. And then you can also do a stay, or you can visit our sister island of Barbuda uh, for a day trip. And that is uh, 27 miles northeast of Antigua, our sister island of Barbuda. And it's more of a lush green island, not a lot. It's not overly developed. Uh, so it's that perfect place if you want to just get away and, and have some and tranquility and some seclusion uh, and just be one with nature. It's a very lush green island. And this quite a few things you can do on Barbuda, including uh, you can walk 17 miles in either direction on a beautiful pink sand beach and uh, and not see anyone at all during during your walk. And so uh, we, we have a bit of a fun saying uh, in Antigua that um, we've been practicing social distance before it became cool because there's never ever a crowded beach on Antigua or a sister island of Barbuda. And like I mentioned, there's so many more things that you can do in Barbuda and Antigua, and we can get into that in more detail. Okay, uh, fa fantastic. Uh, so, what's the weather like? It is a cool 75 to 85 degrees all year round. 
Wow. It's beautiful. It's bright and sunny. Uh, today we had a few rain clouds uh, because there was a, a bit of a rainstorm in what you will never find in Antigua is a dark and gloomy uh, overpass for an entire day or two unless there's a storm in the area and those we get very rarely uh, you know I'm I'm based here in New York and it's been dark and gloomy for the last week uh, 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 or more so uh, <laughs> Antigua is definitely the place you want to be in uh, as, as you get into this fall and winter weather wow that sounds fantastic. Um, so, I think I think you explained it, but what is meant by your space in the sun? Oh yes. Uh, so uh, you're right. I was getting into that just there when I mentioned that we've been practicing social distance before it became cool, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we're saying to folks on the on the the Twin Island destination of Antigua and Barbuda. We provide what we're saying right now is sun sea and safety and we're encouraging everyone to uh take if you're taking your vacation if you need a break from everything that's going on uh, it's perfectly safe for you to travel to us uh we're encouraging you to come on down carve out your own space in your own space in the sun and and what we're saying is uh there's not a crowded beach uh it's a safe destination uh, we have uh, very, uh, in terms of, uh, some folks might be wondering, well, what's the circumstance on the island as it relates to COVID? Uh, right now, we have six active cases on the island, and uh, a majority of our cases are folks who have traveled abroad and have come back with the virus. And in terms of getting to the island, uh, our protocol right now is that everyone must have a PCR test done uh, within seven days of their arrival. So um, while uh, that's quite a window in terms of having the test done, uh, it makes it a little bit easier because we know that there's some places here in the United States where um, having access to a PCR test within seven days for you to travel might still be a challenge. So we've you, we've given you a bit of a window there that you can utilize. Mm -hmm. uh, but it somewhat just encourages folks to make sure that, you know, it's safe for them to travel uh, before they actually get on a plane and come down to the destination. So it keeps them safe and it keeps us safe as well while we try to um, keep the virus at bay on, on what is a very small island. Right. So... Um why is the beach just the beginning? Uh, that's because there is so much more to us. Uh, I, I didn't mention it before because I was leaving that for a, a bit of a, 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 a big moment to say we have 365 gorgeous beaches in and around the Twin Island destination. So that's another reason why we say there's lots of space for you to social distance because there's never a crowded beach because we have so many beaches. Uh, and, and so we're saying with 365 gorgeous beaches, uh, while we're known for you know having some of the best beaches in the Caribbean, uh, there's so much to the destination. Uh, you know, get involved in our, our, our culture, our, we're, we're about to celebrate our 39th anniversary of independence on November 1st. Uh, so right now on island, that's a huge celebration going on, not in the scale that it usually is, but there are, you know, um, heritage and cultural events still taking place virtually, some of them, uh, to, to, you know, um, acknowledge that uh, during our independence from, from Britain as we're former British colonies, uh, that uh, we want to celebrate our history and our culture so you can uh, uh that's an aspect that you can get involved in it as well uh the, f the cuisine the food the gastronomy gastronomy on the on the destination the food is absolutely uh, fantastic uh, i'm just just thinking about it makes me salivate <laughs> having some of that um local dishes and the whole especially now during our independence uh you're gonna see everything on display from the fungi and the saltfish and, mm -hmm. and the pepper pot which are some of our local uh, national treasures in terms of some of the things that we 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 hold dear to in terms of cuisine so uh, uh that's why we say the beach is just the beginning there's so many different facets to the destination that it's not just the beaches it's so much more that we have to offer so do you have a date for the uh carnival in 2021 yet uh we do not as yet uh we're really hoping that uh by next summer uh that 
uh, the world will be right again and mm -hmm. uh, things will be normal and we'll be able to host Carnival 2021, which would be, which would be our 65th Carnival. Uh, hosting carnival in in antigua so we're really hoping that we're able to host it but uh, in all eventuality if we're able to uh, it will culminate on the first monday and tuesday in august that's it's always uh ending on the first monday and tuesday in august and it's two weeks uh leading into the first monday and tuesday in august so uh we can certainly keep you updated sure uh, when the time is is most appropriate uh, to say yes carnival 2021 will be on and we look forward to having everyone come to jump and jam with us yeah because uh i would love to put a a group together and come visit the car the carnival because um the video that that you have of it it looks it looks so exciting Uh -huh. So uh, I can tell you from first-hand information that it's certainly something you'd want to be part of. Uh, yeah, we uh, we we here at It's Your Time to Travel definitely want to be part of the carnival. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when whenever you guys announce announce that you're having it, if you can just just let me know ahead of time, we can put a uh, group together and come over and enjoy your destination. Plus, enjoy. The festivities going on for the carnival. Absolutely. So, talk about some of the resorts that you have on the island. I know on your webinar today, uh, you talked about uh, um, several several different resorts. Uh, talk about some of the resorts that's, that's on the island. Of course. Uh, so, uh, we're very proud of the fact that on Antigua and Barbuda, uh, we offer a plethora of options for folks who are wishing to travel from your adults only and couples only resorts your family friendly resorts your resorts which are geared towards groups uh, all inclusives not all inclusives large properties three four hundred rooms to your small boutique properties uh, which are 30 40 50 60 rooms at most so i like to say there's something on the island for everyone at every price point so no matter what it is that you're looking for from your luxury resort to your um, small boutique bed and breakfast and cottage or, or um, fantastic villas as well uh, there is literally something for everyone depending on what you're looking for and what your feel is for a resort if you want a great beach you want a large beach you want a small beach uh, you want the white sand beach you want the golden brown sand beach <laughs> it, it, it all depends it, there is something for everyone that you can find on both of, of the islands so 365 beaches that's that's one beach every day of the year Plus, plus one, huh? Yes, plus one. Yeah, that, that sounds that sounds fantastic. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ready to go too. I'm ready to get out of New York and, and go and have a little bit of um, sun, sun and fun. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you want to cover in the last few minutes? Uh, well, uh, just to reiterate that Antigua and Barbuda is a very safe destination. Uh, we welcome everyone. Uh, uh, you'll, we'll, you'll find that we're some of the friendliest place uh, people that you'll ever find in the Caribbean. Very welcoming. Uh, we'll, you know, if you're traveling about and you need directions, you'll get directions. We'll even invite you into our homes and cook you a meal. Uh, so you, uh, you can really um, have a really fun time and enjoy yourself and have that nice travel will relaxing vacation uh, on Antigua and or our sister island of Barbuda. Uh, and, and, and if I could just mention as well, uh, as it's something that might be of interest to, to your listeners, uh, right now as well, uh, we've just recently launched a digital nomad 
residency program where we're saying to folks, look, if you want to uh, uh, get away for an extended period of time, three, six months, uh, up to a year or two years, uh, we're welcoming you to say, hey, come on down to Antigua. Uh, we have a digital residency program. We're calling a Nomad Digital Residency Program. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you can just come on down and, and um, get yourself a home away from home uh, until you're ready to return to the United States uh, and, and, uh, and be in a nice tropical, warm weather destination all year round. So, uh, lots to offer on, on the Twin Island destination, uh, which we're saying is your space in the sun. So, so you're 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 off you're offering a place for the snowbirds to come to, other than Florida. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, and like I mentioned, we're not very far. Uh, I, I imagine you know your audience is um, very wide and varied, but in terms of um, flight times from the from the U.S., it's two and a half hours from Miami, three and a half hours from from New York. So okay. you have. Uh, That sounds sounds fantastic. Uh, what like like I have one last question. Um, I was reading about the history of Antigua, and it talked about um, is it Devil's Bridge or? Uh, yes. yes, Devil's Bridge is one of our national monuments. Mm -hmm. uh, You know, uh, we look forward to coming over there. Um, hopefully, uh, we can get the, inf the information about the carnival. If if, if not, I, I think February or March would be a great time to uh, uh, come come visit you. And I thank you for calling in uh, and um, and 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 telling us about your great destination. Uh, this is Norel Joseph. He is Antigua and Bermuda. Um, uh, sales and marketing manager and and thanks for calling in thank you so much Ricky and to all look to yourself your family and everyone listening uh, please continue to stay safe and be well until we can all see each other again on beautiful Antigua Barbuda your space in the sun great thank you thanks Ricky take care mm -hmm. Look up in the sky as a superhero of travel is Ricky Tyus, and we're able to take you around the world by air, land, or sea, even by flying saucer. And we're live on TalkTainmentRadio.com, radio the way it should be heard.